Here we want to solve the cubed root of negative 4x minus 3 equals the cubed root of negative x minus 15. Now we're kind of in luck here because it's just one cubed root equals another. If we had something like plus 5 or something out here to the side, we'd be in a whole different world. But right now it's just one cubed root equals another, so we simply take each side and cube it, like so. Right? Cubing each side will undo the cubed root, which gives us simply negative 4x minus 3 equals negative x minus 15. Okay, so not a whole bunch of overthinking on that one. We're not completely out of the woods yet. We still have to solve for x. So I'm going to add an x to both sides, like so. Okay, this gives us negative 3x minus 3 equals negative 15. I add the 3 to both sides, plus 3. Okay, 3x, negative 3x equals negative 12. And finally, divide both sides by negative 3, which gives x equals 4. Since this is not a square root, we don't have to check to make sure that the 4 doesn't give us a negative inside the radical. Right? If this was a square root, we'd have to check the solution to make sure we don't get a negative inside the radical. In fact, if this was any even root, same would hold for a 4th root or an 8th root. But since this is an odd root here, this is a cubed root, since this is odd, that means we don't have to check the solution on the inside because having a negative inside there is just fine. So thus, there's our answer, x equals 4.